Coach is Rick Stewart with AllAccessCoaching.com. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button down below so we can let you know when new content's been uploaded. All right, so let's talk a little um, let's talk a little trap and a little trap option, okay? And I I'm, I'm not so worried so much worried about the the rules here. Is uh, maybe if somebody wants to screenshot that or take a picture of it, I'll talk through it when we get on some some uh, other illustrations. Uh, but the trap is kind of our gap scheme. It's kind of our pounded at you downhill run. Uh, maybe it's our version of the power. Okay, but just a couple things I want to I want to talk about and make sure we're we're squared away with. So for the most part, okay, we're a long trap team. Okay, we're going to track trap the first person basically outside of the tackle. So we run our trap 32. Okay, what we're going to do at tackle is we're going to always veer in. We're always going inside. If this four technique pinched, we would wash him. As we work inside, we never chase linebackers. We try to run our track. If this linebacker scrapes out, and as you see when we get to videos, we do a lot of things with motions. We try to make this guy move, okay? We will just stay on track to the backside linebacker, okay? Our guard is essentially always an A-gap player. Now, if he's covered, he will base block. If he's uncovered, he's going to double down on the nose, okay? Our center, his rule is I'm back to a three technique. So if there's anything in the backside A-gap, Obviously, he's got a back block and feel for the pulling guard, okay? When we get a zero nose, we're going to double team the nose, and we really focus on getting movement on the nose. Yeah, maybe the guard will get up to the backside backer if the nose goes weak, okay? Our pulling guard, what we want to do is we want to pull, and we want to be as far up in the line of scrimmage as we can be. Okay, we want to dig these guys out. So we tell them if you're going to trap right, we want right shoulder on the inside hip. Okay? So he wants to be as tight as he can off the widest down block or double team, and he wants to get inside out. Because here's the deal on the trap. If the guy's up the field and you're inside out, you can always work out to him. Okay? Okay? But if you pull too flat and he beats you inside, you're done. So you're always inside out because we can always work back out to the guy. Okay? Our backside tackle is pretty simple. He's going to protect the B gap. Now, obviously, he knows the center is going to be back to a three. So versus four technique, he would scoop, and if he gets inside of it, He's going to work up. Maybe he can get this backer. Probably not based on the motions that we use. And I'll, we can get creative with our motions. Okay. And if nothing's there, he'll look to the backside backer. Okay. Our fullback, if we're running trap right. Okay. If we're running trap right. He will step with his right foot, but it's kind of over at the left butt cheek of the center. Okay. So it's kind of this deal. And this line is going at too much of an angle for me. I want this thing going downhill as much as I can. Okay? As much downhill and as tight off of that double team as we can be, the better. Okay? Our quarterback opens up. Okay? we And he reverses out, gives it, and he comes back underneath, and we run off of counter option is kind of the, the look we're trying to get on this. Okay? Now, if we run it versus an even front, a lot of the same things here. Our tackle is going to veer inside. Our guard is going to get up to the line of scrimmage. I'm really not too worried about the drawings. I'll talk to you when we get on the uh, the plays here, okay? All right. I'll show you something about this motion in just a second. All right. And I'll really talk through you this play when we get to the end zone copy of it, okay? My diagram seemed to screw up there. All right. So a couple things 
I'll show you about our motion. So what we figured out a long time ago is we could get the, the ball past the linebacker level, but we kept getting safeties as they figured out it was a dive. Safeties were making the tackles. Okay, so what we really started trying to do <clears throat> is figure out ways that we could get these safeties out of the mix. Okay, so when you see this trap, you're going to see a lot, a lot, a lot of different motions on it, okay? All right, but let's just go back to the O-line. So the right tackle here, rule is going to tell him to work the B-gap, never chase this linebacker. If he steps up for the fullback, block him. If he scrapes out, let him go, go to the backside. All right, the guard's rule is base to ace. That means if he's covered, he's going to base. If he is uncovered, he's going to ace, which is a double team with our center, okay? So he would get up here and he would say, open, open, ace, ace. Well, the center, his rule is base to ace. I'm back to a three. So when he hears the three technique call here, he would just say to the guard, when he says ace, ace, he would say bama, bama, or I'm back. So now we would down block, we would back block, we would pull up in the line of scrimmage to trap this guy. And then this guy would try to take an angle to get to this linebacker. If we get anything to make him bite. Okay. Our QB is going to open up facing this way. And our B back is going to run a track right at the left cheek of the center. And then he's going to bend this bad boy as tight and as downhill as he can. So you see the right tackle here as he veers, he just lets that guy go. All right, our right guard is down on the nose. When he said ace, ace, bama, bama, what the center was telling him is I'm back blocking. So now you got to down block this guy. All right, our center's back to the three. Obviously on down blocks, we want to get our head in front. Okay, just like these two guys, because we want to always cut off penetration first. We want to get our second step down with a base, and we want to get our off elbow or our right elbow up high so this guy can't roll out of it. Our pulling guard, I would like for him to get up in the line of scrimmage a little more. And our fullback is as tight off of that guard's down block as he can be. Okay, and not what we did by moving those guys Left tackle could take a little better angle. By moving those safeties, okay, what we took is a seven or eight or 10 yard play into a 75 yard play. All right, so I'm going to buzz through quite a few of these. All right. All right, this is first the Fighting Irish. Notre Dame, all right, we're going to run our trap back to the left. You can look at good view of the fullback action here. Left foot to the right cheek of the center. All right, the quarterback has got to step and kind of get off the midline here. And he's going to come back underneath. Well, we usually do. We might have mixed this up a little bit, or this was a young guy. He might have just kind of screwed it up, all right? Left tackle is going to veer in, and he's going to block for that dive. He's got to be downhill on that linebacker, all right? The backside guard is uncovered, so this backside tackle called this guy a 4-I, okay? So the center knows he's only back to a three technique. So when he heard open here, this guy over here said ace-ace to him, so he said ace back to him, so we could get a good double team on this. We would love to climb somebody up to the backside linebacker, but sometimes when you play in Notre Dame, those kind of things are not going to happen. All right? As we veer, he can work backer to backer. Okay? Our puller is going to be up in the line of scrimmage to trap this five technique. And since there's a four-eye backside, he knows he's got to clean this up, so he's going to scoop this four-eye. All right, so let's watch the left tackle. Not too bad. Our double team gets a little bit turned. All right, we're playing Notre Dame. We're doing all we can. Our puller is up in the line of scrimmage. Trap left, left shoulder. All right, and look how tight we want to keep that ball right up that hash. 
as tight to that left guard's butt as we can. Okay, now the ball's up to the safety. Now, if you look at this, it's, sometimes we do some things that aren't too smart here. If you look at that last play, we ran this guy vertical. We brought him across. If we'd have done that, we'd have kept this safety out of it. Or we could have released him. We could have had the wide receiver wider. Okay, but we – could have taken care of this safety by formation and motion. We brought the safety back over, okay? All right, I'll show you something here with the, the fullbacks block or fullbacks run. All right, so we got us a shade four, three defense. Okay, we're running the trap back to the left. Veer, run your track. Okay, open, open, ace, ace. I'm, down, I'm doubling the nose. There's a three back side, so the center gives him a Bama call. So we got to communicate, ace, ace, Bama, Bama. So it turns into down block, down block. Pull as tight off of this down block as you can. Pull left, left shoulder. Right tackle knows that the center is coming back to the three technique. So he can veer in and work for the backside backer. All right, full back. All right, left foot to the right butt cheek. Right foot plants, bends it. Once they get through here, I want to run off of the tackles block. This ball should have bounced outside. So let's take a look at this. All right, great track by the full back. Now you got to pick up the tackles block. And this thing is to the safety if we do that. Everything about this is great, except be a little more patient. See where the tackle, you got to know where the tackle's coming from, and boom, bang to the left, not back to the right. All right. Our left guard, it could have been a little flatter on his down block. Okay, maybe too wide a stance. But it's all about the first step on the down block. Okay, make sure, okay, you're taking a step. It's going to put your nose about six inches in front of the play side number of that shaded nose guard so you don't get beat on penetration. And we don't really get beat on penetration because he moves with the center. All right, but he does kind of get beat up the field. Center's back block. He's a little out of control because he only weighed about 250. All right, but I love the way he played. And then the right tackles up to the backside backer. This could have been a bigger play. Coaches, Rick Stewart with AllAccessCoaching.com. I really hope this video helps make you a better coach. Make sure you hit the subscribe and like button down below so we can let you know when new content becomes available because we're all about coaches helping coaches. And remember, coach, better today, never as good as tomorrow.